damn Daniel, Slipknot is back at it again with the white bands. Slipknot, uh, they, uh, they made a new song. I keep thinking it's called Wayward Filth, but it's called Solway Firth. Wow. Yeah, you know, Corey Taylor has the amazing talent of uh, just, uh, just, just sharing new words with people. Just, just bringing, just using really obscure words. I don't know if they're really obscure words I've never heard. And then you know, he, he shares them with the, with the good, with the good white children of suburbia. She gave giving them new big words. But uh, I listened to this new song, and it is exactly what I expected it to be. I listened to it uh, twice now. And basically, it's just another filler track by Slipknot. Ooh, we, yeah, yeah. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Their last album, the Great Chapter, was literally all filler, all of it filler. There might have, they might have had some kind of cool riffs, but they were just mediocre. Like the the songs themselves were just mediocre. It's not very eventful. Uh, but in this new song, you can see is also not very eventful. Now, something of note in the video. The video was the video was all right aside from uh everybody in Slipknot hamming it up. And not even like a good kind of hamming it up like they used to do when they were like when their performance was convincing. It's just they're like, "Yeah, we're Slipknot." Woo! Oh, I hate this so much, but I'm doing it anyway. It's like that. It's like they don't even believe themselves anymore. Now I'll note that Corey Taylor's voice is actually like better than usual in this, in, on this track. It's actually got more visceral anger and stuff, like on more. It's more passionate than you'd, you'd normally find in the Slipknot song. But nonetheless, the song itself is still very much lackluster. Um, the riff is just—it's barely even memorable. It's just -na 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 -na, it's like that, and then the drums are boring as shit. See, like a, a good riff is when. Uh, is when a is when a good rhythm and like a good kind of like chord progression or like kind of like good awesome some badass notes or just yes you, you just uh, put them together like a fucking sandwich and this sandwich was like uh, was was like a, a subway yeah it was like subway it was boring that's what kind of sandwich this song is and and like they they had they had like some like they had an interest like not it was it was uh, kind of it was all right it was pretty it was pretty good it was like um like a kind of industrial kind of sound sample combined with um with their steel keg drums or are they made out of titanium i forget but it was that and then uh, that lasted for a little bit but then the, but it even when even with that the song is still boring so when you try to put like in when you try to put interesting elements into a boring song the song is still fucking boring like it only works if the song is is interesting. A song has to work off of like off of uh, good dynamics. It has to work off of like uh, interesting ideas and stuff. Like uh, I'm sure the I'm sure the lyrics are great and all, but um, I didn't I didn't give them, I didn't bother reading them. I don't care how good your lyrics are if your music sucks. But um, I mean unless you unless you make it very apparent. That like it, when you're singing the so that the lyrics themselves have the most importance, that they'll be that they'll be easier to understand. You know, I I do like death metal and blah 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 blah. Don't get on my ass for oh uh, screaming music is still music. Yes, I know, I know, I know. But um, there's not enough for people to latch onto with just your hey, it's heavy music. Hey, it's Corey Taylor. Hey. Ah, I'm Cory. Uh, I'm mad. I'm mad because I'm Cory. Like that's not enough for for people to be invested in your song, into your songs, and like, uh, other, uh, other like, uh, all the views they're getting from the video is just like the is just like, their fans from like 2000 from like 2010, and earlier, like when I started listening to Slipknot. Like that's all. That's all the people that are that are checking in. There, nobody. I don't think there's many people who are like, "Whoa, I'm a young hip kid. I play Fortnite. I think I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna think I'm gonna let's go listen to Slipknot because I'm angry." Like, well, you need something that people can latch onto for a song to be, for your songs to be interesting. And these songs are not very interesting. 
and you like uh, like older like older Slipknot songs. I'm going to say from um, from the first album. Every song I'd say there might be one filler song. Even if there was a even if there's a, you can consider one of their songs a filler. I think there's got to be a filler song on the first album. Even then, like every song worked off interesting dynamics. There's nine people in the band. Yeah, they all have their own kind of position. And then here, it just it, they just they just sound like they just sound like a four man band, like a like a four or five man band. And not not a very good one either. There's I'm there's people out there, three people who can make more interesting music than the nine of them. Yeah, it happens every day. And it's it's all really all about dynamics and the, these songs they have very little in the ways of dynamics. Like barely like not memorable drum riffs, not very or not memorable drum patterns. Uh, just mediocre bass, extremely mediocre guitars. Oh, uh, uh, something of note in the song at the very beginning, there he was like Corey was delivering a kind of um lyrical like kind of poetic passage i guess but it was lame and i i'm not i'm not con and i wasn't convinced by it like there's no he, i don't know he, the first off the poem sucked and also he wasn't i don't think he was conveying the dark kind of persona that he was trying to convey through the poem uh, he wasn't like i don't feel like the darkness was channeled the, through through him, see when you're like uh, I like a like a lyricist to me, I think they should they like the the, um, the or the vocalist is the medium between the lyrics and the listener, so you have just like in just like an actor with a role, uh, the so the job's no different. I don't care if it's like like a good performance, like it's like I'm not looking for good. I'm looking for I'm looking for like I'm looking for believable. I'm looking for something that, like, I'm looking for something to, like, enrapture me. I'm looking for something to, uh, that I can, that I can latch onto, and this is not it. Uh, uh my, my thought process is kind of scattered, because, uh, uh, you see, because I, I have, a, I have some very philosophical, I have, my, I have my, my own philosophical ideas on how, um, music should be, especially dark and angry music, and this is, the Slipknot has just turned into like, has just turned into um, well, you, how would you call it a uh, midlife? And it's turned into midlife crisis metal, is what's happened with it. It's turned into like forty-year-old dad rock. It's lame. It's it's turning. It, you know, like when your dad listens to it, when like so someone's listening to ACDC, it's like it's like that. But uh, at least ACDC has like some fun songs. At least you can sing to ACDC in the car and it's enjoyable. This, I don't know about this. This is lame. Ugh. Oh yeah, another thing of note in the video, I suppose, is that there was a hot-ass scene where a girl was licking toes. Ooh, zing, ooh-wee. <laughs> hey, look, everybody loves getting their toes licked. Everybody loves licking toes. It's what the, it's what the, it's, it's what the people do. But all the toe licking in the world can't save Slipknot. <laughs> all the fucking blood that you just throw everywhere can't save Slipknot. Usually, you'd think that like the, their their masks have suffered too. I mean, like, hey, if you, you want to try things new, but their masks are like really lame. The homemade style is gone. I I know they want to go into the more horror movie style, like it's more professional. But I don't know. Craig's mask with the mohawk. Looks really lame. It's screaming at the top of its lungs, midlife fucking crisis. But uh, yeah, this. But yeah, okay. More to the song though. This is pretty much over. But uh, yeah, song not very eventful. Much like their last song, I forget what it was called. It was something about. Oh yeah, unsainted. It at least said, unsainted sounded all right live. It sounded better live, but it still sucked. But yeah. That's, that's my take on it.